My name is Cole Snyder, and uh, I'm going to be walking you through how to do a uh, simple cow eye dissection here in Ms. Gerald's class. Um, first of all, I'm going to talk a little bit about all this stuff around the outside of this eye. This is all fat and muscle. Um, the cow's eye has four muscles that allow movement up, down, left, and right. And if you look here, you can see the four muscle endings here, four muscles. Now opposed to a human eye, we have two extra muscles that allow our eyes to move more freely. So our eyes move like this. So if you look at a cow when it's trying to look around, they're going to tend to move their head a lot more left to right than a human, whereas humans' eyes do more moving. You know, you move your eyes around like a human. Um, so we're just going to begin by trimming all this fat and muscle off the outside of the eye. The fatty tissue on the outside of the eye also acts as a cushion for the eye when it's sitting in the eye socket. It allows it to move. Once we get that all trimmed off for the most part, all right. This blue-looking uh, spot on the top of the eye here is the cornea. This is the uh, protective layer over the eye. This is a lot like an onion; it has a lot of layers in the top of it. So we're going to make our first incision in the top of the cornea. And what's going to come out is a, uh, a liquid called the oc oculus humor. And this liquid serves to contract light and bend light toward the retina. So there's the oculus humor coming out of there. Now, we're going to make another incision on the side of the eye here to open it up. I'm removing the top of the eye. Here. All right. I'm going to talk about a few more parts of the eye here. Now, if we fold this inside out, See the cornea there where I made the decision, the incision in the cornea? And we're going to talk about this black piece on the outside, or on the inside of the cornea called the iris. And what this serves to do is it opens and closes like a human's pupil to let light in to the lens. So if you look at this, there's your iris. And as light... If there's a lot of light in the room, the iris will close, letting light, less light in. And if there's less light, it will open to let more light in. So a film layer. And the main difference between cow's eye and a human eye is this is going to be like an oval shape for a cow eye. And a human, it's going to be more, more circular. And um, 
just to give you an idea of the layers of the cornea, which if you listen closely, you can hear me cutting through the different layers. It sounds like glass kind of. Yeah, the layers of the cornea there that serve to protect the eye. Now, inside the eye socket, we're going to start by looking at the uh, lens here. This gelatin-like substance is a mixture of protein and water. We call this the, vent the uh, ventrious humor. So that, I'm going to remove this, take the rest of that out. This serves to reflect light into the eye as well. It's clear. Get the rest of this out of here. Now this little marble shape is the lens. And what this does is this concentrates the light, magnifies the light into the retina. So if you look at that, it's kind of hard on the outside and it's mostly clear. This eye is a little bit, a little bit old and it's not as clear as it would be in a live, live eye. But that's that. Now if you look at the inside of this eye, you see this glowing kind of blue fluorescent you know, substance on the back. It's called the tapetum. And what that does is reflects light from behind the eye. Now, if you look in, at night and you see a cow, you know their eyes kind of glow at night. Same with cats or deer at night and headlights. Dogs are a lot the same way. Um, that's what this is. The light is passing through, reflecting off the back of the eye, tape, uh, the tapum and it's just allowing more light to, to pass in the eye. However, humans do not have this. The back of our eyes are black to absorb the most light possible. And now as we get to the retina. So in the back of the eye lays the retina, and this is the nerve that uh, senses the light signals, and converts them into nerve impulses that go into the optic nerve into the brain. And if you see, it's only attached in one place at the base, the base of the bottom of the eye right there. And that's considered your blind spot because that's where, where the retina does not contract any light. So then if you look on the back of the eye, this is your optic nerve here. The cow's optic nerve and that will be connected back to the brain. So that's where the impulses will be sent from the retina that the cow sees through the optic nerve to the brain. And that's all I have. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope this will help you out.